hi there and salam alaikum everyone i trust we are all doing well and you as a parent are doing an awesome job keeping up with the surprises your little one has for you as each day passes but have you ever wondered how your child is going to respond or react to situations around their environment have you as a parent with more than a child wondered why your first child might be easygoing but your little one is really giving you a hard time there are two sides to this we have the genetic factors and we have the environmental factors for the genetic factors we'll look at temperament and for the environmental factors we'll look at things that a child is exposed to during their early years be it quality parenting be it opportunities or stresses in the child's life but this particular video will focus more on temperament and your child's personality development what is temperament Temperament um, refers to certain patterns of behavior and how the child relates to the environment. They are the small and big things that makes your child unique and different from any other person. But because temperament is biologically based, if as a parent you are easygoing, you are likely to have an easygoing child. If you are difficult, you are likely to have a difficult child. And if you are slow to warm, you are likely to have a slow to warm child. Around 1960s, Alexander Thomas and Stella Chess conducted a research about temperament and how they can best help parents. And the research actually studied children and, and then they observed that these children reacted differently, even at birth, to situations around them. And then how they expressed themselves were different. And they realized that these differences actually were with the children through their early childhood. They also outlined nine behavioral traits which fall under temperament. These span from the child's physical activity level, how they respond to new environment, be it their approaching or withdrawing, how adaptable they are to new situations, how sensitive they are to stimuli, how well they adapt to routines, generally how their moods are, is it positive or negative, their attention span, usually for teachers, you have some children who are easily distracted and so they have to take longer times to complete their task and those who are very attentive and so they need shorter times to complete their task. We look at persistence. We have some children who when trying something, the moment they are faced with trouble, they give up or they start throwing tantrums. We have those others who would want to push through and get the work done. And then lastly, we look at how intense they respond to stimuli. We have some children who actually scream out of joy when there's something very exciting around them. And then the moment there's something seemingly, um, seemingly disturbing, you see that this child is throwing tantrums. So these are the nine behavioral traits that was outlined by Alexander Thomas and Stella Chess. The research also outlined three main temperament types. We have the easygoing child, like we mentioned before, the difficult children, and the slow to warm children. According to the research, 40% of the children were easygoing, 10% were difficult, and then 15% were slow to warm. The other percent, like they were actually like not really categorized in any group. What features do we expect to see in an easygoing child? What features or characteristics do we expect to see in a difficult child? And what characteristics do we expect to see in a slow to warm child? For an easygoing child, we'd see that they are those who adapt easily to new environment and situations. They try out new things. They have a pattern, a pattern of like they are um, of doing things. So we can know that okay, we have eating time, we have sleeping time, we have waking up time. They actually dare to do things. They don't easily respond intensely to situations around them. They are usually positive, that is their mood. And then for difficult children, <laughs> we all know, they are very um, hard to handle. Sometimes they come off as stubborn and they, they respond intensely to situations. They might throw tantrums, they might, they might throw things, they might hit people and they have a hard time adapting to new environment. They just want to stay with their parents. And then for slow to warm children, we have that those are the children who when we go somewhere, there are those who would say, okay, let me take a minute, observe everything around me, and then when I step out, I know, I'm going to, I know how I'm going to relate to everyone around me. Those are the slow to warm children. Their reaction to situation is not so intense, 
but then it's not like as good as those in the easy going group so they are somewhere in between between the two but what do you as a teacher or caregiver do with this information you are going to tune in now tuning in when you tune in as a parent to your child's temperament it means that at this point you are aware of your temperament you are aware of your child's temperament and so you are going to make parenting decisions or you are going to make decisions in your class having these two things in mind if i have a child who has high energy level i'm going to ensure that somewhere or during the day we are going to have outdoor play have the time to run to jump to to hop to do any other thing you want to and if i have a child whose energy level is low it means that as an observant teacher or parent i would have some time off with the child so that we can have a less active play that is what tuning in is about lastly i just want to say that as parents or caregivers we just have to be flexible during these times because when children get overwhelmed inside they can only express it in so many different ways so if we are able to know that this is my child's temperament, we would know how to respond to some of these behaviors and this is going to foster development optimally. So this is me again just pleading with parents to help the children grow or thrive. Now we, we mentioned two things, temperament and then early experiences. So yes, are we going to give them a nurturing environment to help them grow because this temperament is steadily going to build their personality. So the effort we, we, we put in, how we respond to them during this period is going to help them develop their personalities. So I want to appreciate every parent out there and every teacher. Let's keep being supportive. Let's keep appreciating every child for who they are because that's a surest way to help build their self-esteem. And that's what being a caregiver or a parent is all about. Being sensitive, being responsive, being um, flexible to your child's temperament as they build their, or as they develop their personality. I'll see you in our next video. Bye.